Hi, this is Alex from Tile Yard Education, and these are my top 10 shortcuts in Pro Tools. So the first thing that we're gonna do is activate the key command focus button over there, it's just that A to Z small button in the right. What this does is activates a number of shortcuts that I will tell you in a second. So the first one, the f first key command, which is very important, is to create a new track. Now to do that, it is Command Shift N. And then you have an option box here where you can choose how many tracks, uh, what configuration, what, what type of track, or whether you want it to be in samples or ticks. Now, what you can do is change these by hitting Command and the arrow buttons. So left and right will alternate configuration from mono to stereo to LCR, 5.1, all sorts of things like that. And the up and down arrows do the type of track. So audio track, auxiliary input, a master fader, instrument track, VCA master, any of those can be activated by pressing Command. And the left arrows for the configuration and the up and down arrows for the type of tracks. You can also hit Command and Plus on the numeric keypad, which will add another row there where you can add maybe three mono audio tracks, three stereo auxiliary tracks, and one master fader. Now the next key command, which is probably the most used, is zoom in and out. Now you can simply zoom in by pressing T, and zoom out by pressing R. So that's for horizontal zooming, but for vertical zooming, you can click Control, Alt, and the up and down keys. So if you want to make the tracks much smaller, if you have quite a large session or much bigger, you can do it with the control, alt, and the up and down. If you want to just make an individual track larger, you can go control and then up and down. Now, to duplicate a track, this can often be, be very useful if you want to have the same input-output settings, the same plugins for any reason, you can just hit alt, shift, D. Now you have a box here where you can choose the, whether you want the active playlists, alternate playlists, automation, inserts, sends, and group assignments. You can have all of these, you can have none of these, you can have a few of these, it's completely up to you. What's important is that you click Alt, Shift, and D, and that will come up with the duplicate track there. Now a useful trick for playlists and creating new and duplicate playlists is the shortcut Control and Backslash. That will create a new playlist, just hit OK and that will create a completely new playlist for you. Now, if you wanted to duplicate a playlist, you go Control, Command, and Backslash, and that will duplicate that playlist for you. This is very useful when comping, or if you want to comp on the move, you may really like verse one, but want to possibly overdub the last bit. So what you would do is duplicate that track and just hit record over it and you've still got the original if you need it, but you've also got the newer comp up above. If you want to create a new playlist, they will simply gather in this playlist function here. Now a useful shortcut for activating that playlist function is to go control command backslash. That will take you to the playlists but you can also, using the left and right arrows, go in between volume automation, the volume trim, mute, panning, all sorts of things like that. All of these tabs here can be activated by hitting Control, Command, and the left and right arrows. Now a very quick useful feature if you're zoomed right in. So say if I was zoomed right in by clicking T, and I was making a small edit here, I hit B there to split a clip. Okay, so, right, so I've made that, that small edit. I want to zoom out to the entire arrangement view and see all of the tracks. Hit Alt and A, and you can see all of the arrangement very quickly. That's a very useful tool when you're zoomed right in, say if you're doing an edit or maybe like an automation tweak or a parameter tweak or something, and you just want to zoom right back out to the whole track, hit Alt and A, and it will take you there. So there are a number of features on the left side of the track here that you can enable with shortcuts. So if you hit Shift R, that's going to be record enable. Shift I will be, be input monitoring. Shift S will be solo and Shift M will be mute. Now there's another useful feature that you can check out in Pro Tools, um, the shortcut for increasing the waveform size. That is Alt, Command and open bracket left and right, which can be used to reduce 
or increase the size of the waveforms. This does not alter the level at all. It's just a visual thing that if you may see see something weird or, or hear something weird, then you can always just increase the waveform and zoom in and have a look at it. So if you want to reset the waveforms to what they, they originally were, you hit Control Alt Command, which is otherwise known as Power Claw, and left square open bracket and that will reset it to how they were previously. And a final command, if you have only one tool open, like the selector tool, for example, and you're only working in that, if you want to very quickly go to the multi-tool, you go command and number seven, and that will take you to the multi-tool. Notice how it changes up here. So that was my top 10 keyboard shortcuts in Pro Tools. I really hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you on the next video.